Hey everyone, AppChasers.com. Today I want to show you something I love about Apple Music, and it's a feature that I think really makes Apple Music stand out apart from other streaming music services. That is the ability to create smart playlists. As you probably know, you can create playlists in most of the streaming music services. Playlists are the ability to collect songs together that you like into what we might call folders or playlists. You can then listen to all the songs in that playlist, uh, whether it's on repeat, uh, shuffle, or just listen to them one by one. But it's a way of grouping music together in your app. Now, Apple Music takes this a step further and lets you create smart playlists. Now, smart playlists are built automatically based on different features of the music or songs themselves, as well as how you interact with them. And I'll show you what I mean here. Smart playlists need to be built in iTunes on the Mac or the PC first. They can't be built uh, initially on the iPhone or the iPad, although once you make them, uh, you will be able to listen to those smart playlists on those mobile devices. But in order to uh, create one, first we'll fire up iTunes here. You can see I've already done that. Then we'll go over into iTunes up here in the upper left, and we'll go down to Preferences. Here I've got Checked On Show Apple Music and Checked On uh, iCloud Music Library. So you want to make sure you have those two checked on. Then go over into your Playlists tab, which is the second one from the left here at the top. So I'll tap on Playlists here, and this shows me all of the playlists that I have as well as all of the music that I have. So on the right hand side, this is all my uh, songs that I have, and then Playlists on the left hand side. I've created folders over here which will also show up in Apple Music on the iPhone or iPad. So let's create a uh, playlist and I'll show you uh, what I mean by smart playlists. We'll go up to the upper left, go to File, New, Smart Playlist. Now it's going to ask us for different rules or criteria that the uh, songs have to meet. So for example, I could create one for, uh, let's try Coldplay. All right, it already knows that I want Coldplay, so it fills that in. And uh, let's add another rule here by clicking on this plus icon. And if I uh, click there on the artist, it'll bring up a number of different uh, criteria that I could choose from. For example, I could say, how about our year, which is the very bottom one. And I can say uh, songs that Coldplay uh, released in the year 2015. So let's do that. I'm going to select OK. All right, well, there's nothing here because Coldplay has not released any albums in 2015. So I'll go over here to the right where it says Edit Playlist. And maybe I want to change that to 2014. All right, so there we go. Here are all the songs that Coldplay has released in 2014. And you'll notice down on the left-hand side, I've got Coldplay here. Now this is the smart playlist that I'm on. Okay, let's edit this a little further. Let's go into Edit Playlist. And uh, let's go to uh, the year here. Now it says is. That means it's released exactly in 2014. But let's say I want to go for a range. Is in the range here from 2010 to 2014. All right, let's tap OK. And you can see it's added a lot more music to this playlist. So you can see it's smart. It automatically goes into My Music and finds all the songs that match that criteria. So it's pretty cool. Let's try a different one here. Let's go up into File. Uh, new Smart Playlist. And uh, this time instead of choosing Artist, I'm going to choose, let's say, Plays. So this is how many times I've played the song. Let's say is greater than 25. So let's see what songs I've played more than 25 times. 
All right, so there we go. Now it's gone into my music, and it's found all of the songs that I've played more than 25 times. Now, obviously, these are probably going to be my most listened to. So let's call it, uh, let's rename this playlist up here. All right, so there we go. So we've got 67 songs, 4 hours and 30 minutes. Now you can continue to create playlists like this. Uh, just go up into File, New, Smart Playlist. One that I really like is um, Rating. So if we go here to Rating, it's going to check out how many stars we've given a song. Now you can do this. You can rate a song by stars, um, whether it's on the iPhone, iPad, or your PC. So I'll show you a few that I've made here. So let's go into... Um, well, let's go into our best of artists here. And if I uh, tap on any one of these, for example, Leonard Skinner, these are all the Leonard Skinner songs that I have rated three, let's see, above three stars. So I can see that by tapping on Edit Playlist. I've got my criteria here Leonard Skinner is the artist, and rating is greater than three stars. So these are some of the uh, different playlists that you can create and put into folders in iTunes on the desktop or the laptop. Then let's go over into our iPhone and see how these uh, playlists have synced over because we've got iCloud Music Library turned on and Apple Music turned on as we did in the beginning of this video. Okay, now I've got my iPhone out. The first thing I want to do, just like when we were on the desktop, was go ahead and go into the Settings app here. Now we're going to scroll down to the Music Settings right here. Tap on that. And you notice, just like on the computer, I've got Show Apple Music turned on and I've got iCloud Music Library also turned on. So we can exit out of that now and go right into the Music app. Now in the lower right hand corner I've made sure I've got my tab set to My Music and in the upper uh, just to the right of center I've got Playlists uh, right here enabled. So here's all my playlists. These are the folders that I was looking at, um, the ones that I had created on my Mac and oh look here's the Coldplay Smart Playlist that I created. You can tell a Smart Playlist because it's got this gear icon here next to the by, at the left. So I'll tap on Coldplay here and here are all the songs that I had automatically added to this playlist uh, right on my Mac. So these are all right here ready for me to listen to on my iPhone. Let's look at that other one most listened to. We'll tap on that and here's my most listened to songs right here on my iPhone. Now as I continue to listen to songs and if I go past that 25 times listen to mark, those songs, whatever they are, will be added to this playlist. So you can see it's really smart. I've never seen any other streaming service provide anything like what iTunes and Apple Music does. So this is why I think Apple Music really is the king of streaming music services.